what the actual uh, template looks like so we might be like oh yeah Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about ask campaigns again but with Aweber so I don't know if you uh, watched it but last week I did an episode on using on what are ask campaigns and creating an ask campaign within uh click funnels because that's where I learned from it from Russell Wilson so we're going to get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So if you haven't heard of Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson, it's definitely a book that you should be getting and it talks about something called an ask campaign now inside the book uh, he explains what that is basically when you're trying to build an online community or a non uh, sorry a workshop or something like that or a course even you should be asking people what they want so that you know that you're actually delivering what they want right before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're gonna want to go check out the video on the blog post at cis432.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen it's obviously a lot more than just listening to me um so yeah so let's get right to it so when we talk about an ask campaign right the ask campaign from Russell Brunson he talks about asking the question to his audience of what they are looking for now you can do that in click funnels and you can do that in lots of different platforms but what's important is to be able to have a custom field in your form here let me show you what I'm talking about so first let me share my screen here uh, where are we right over here right so you know how to use Aweber to set up an N ask campaign I guess I should have fixed that I put a, a D in there but anyways all right so in Aweber and pretty much any other platform that allows you to do email auto responding you can create lists right you can have more than one list I have like a ton of lists right I have a bunch of lists I basically create a list because my my I create different lists because what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to send the person a specific message based on what list they join right so in the case of the active group users campaign uh, active group users workshop which is what I'm doing an S campaign for uh, I basically have a automation here if I go back to the campaigns that whenever they subscribe to my list I send them an email so this email here uh, let's look at the messages is there, where is that I gotta go in here first and over here and preview so I send them just a simple thank you for uh, your question and that's because they're supposed to be answering a question in the form so when you will look at a form like this for example right a question a form this is a click funnels one right you see I'm basically saying it's a free workshop find the hottest leads you know whatever whatever my workshop is about and then I have a question here I have been entering your number one question on how to find in my case obviously the question I have is relevant to what I'm going to be teaching <clears throat> and they enter their answer here and they still put their name and email now you could split that up into two there's different ways to do that because when you look at Russell's example here which I guess you won't be able to see when you go back to the full screen when you look at Russell's example here right he's got the ask campaign which only has the question and that's it right he's got the question and then his well what's your question and then he's got a place to put the answer right and that's it that's all he's got right he doesn't have the email as well in there but that obviously needs to be there because there's no way to get back to somebody unless you have their email right so um I'd have to look at how these are done but the simple process is this now if you're an Aweber you can do the same thing you can actually do the same thing in Aweber and just to show you if I go into pages and forms here landing pages or sign up forms the difference is a landing page you can create your own page that you just send people to you don't even need a blog you don't need anything 
you can just send people to that page which will ask them the question whereas a sign up form is something you can embed in your blog or anywhere else that you uh, have already an online presence where you can put some special code right to show it so and if I just go to landing pages here I created one to test but I'll create one from scratch showing you how that works this one isn't done but uh, obviously you don't you'd have a title on it and that kind of stuff so let's just create landing page you cl click this button up here and you choose you know a template just like with click funnels or other platforms there's a whole bunch of templates uh depending on what you're trying to do I would say probably you're going to go to events or webinar because the rest doesn't necessarily fit with this ask campaign thing because what you want to do is you want to ask them what they want to know about whatever you're going to be doing whatever you're going to be teaching whether it's a live workshop whether it's a webinar whether it's a course you're doing you're doing a live version of the course you're recording it all that stuff uh, so that's why it's events or webinar makes sense right but you can choose any of these and whenever you watch this there might be more templates right but let's say we choose uh one of these we want to see what it looks like we can just click on the preview it lets us see what the actual uh, template looks like so we might be like oh yeah that looks like a good template for me um, but personally I like one that's very simple and you can have like see this one here has a place for a video right and sign up and then it has all these links I mean you can do whichever one you choose but personally I found that pages that have a video on them unless you've been around and you're a superstar and everybody knows who you are and everything you probably don't want to do that because they don't know you yet and this is probably uh they're probably just going to be uh checking you out based on the wording not necessarily based on you um so you're gonna have a page like this which is a lot simpler and this also has a video I guess you could always you know if I click on this and use this one right you can always get rid of that video if you don't want it or this could be a video that talks about whatever it is that you're offering to talk about but like I said videos are usually something you don't want until you've had lots of experience and people know you so let's just choose this one you click on the choose and basically what you got to do is uh well let's do a few things first right so first we're going to change the name here we're going to say um let's say uh ask campaign right and then we're gonna say oh here's a here's a good a good little tip for you when you're building an online form the most important thing is you want people to see your headline and the place where they can answer the questions so you're going to make sure it's super simple you don't even care about having a logo on that I know that logos are nice they look nice they're nice if you have a nice logo but really don't worry about that on your form because what happens there is that your page is going to be lower right you're going to have this on the top of the page that'll take up space especially on a mobile phone right so we just I'm just going to delete that I don't even want that there uh this is just text right so I can edit this uh let's just say like the, obviously the wording and the text is a totally separate thing but let's just say you know free live workshop right uh, I can use the same text I used in the click funnels one right I'm going to do obviously this text I might want to change it but I'm going to use this same text I can say this right here right and then uh, I can say um I'm I need your help whoops right I can say that something like that uh let me know let me know what you are most uh most interested in learning well actually what I would like to do is I need to know I need to know I need to know exactly what you'd like like to learn in this works workshop well it's just not even I don't anyways like I said the wording that's here is whatever obviously you want to try it you want to test it out and then over here is going to be 
um you know that's fine but here is this is the form right normally they put their email and their name in here right so this is where you will add the question right you're going to add the question part of the form right so over here just click on an inside of here and then you'll see right over here it says that there's a name and there's an email right so I'm going to add a form field oh right I forgot about that okay so let's just save this and exit and I'm going to show you how because before you can add your custom field it has to exist in your list so under your list options custom fields you go here I sorry I forgot about that that's the very most first important thing so I can actually have so webinar uh, let's just say number one question right so I'm just gonna I don't know if I'm allowed to put spaces here but I think so so I'm gonna subscriber update so that they can I'm not gonna let them update it so this one is question uh, I added that before for testing I guess I realized that it's better if you have an actual value because that'll let you then you save it then when I go back to my uh, automation right here uh, no sorry forms go back to my forms my sign up my landing pages you'll see now that it's in the list right because I started creating it so it's ask campaign I'm just going to click on it that takes me to the edit of it so there we go so okay now we're back here in the form right here this is where this is the part I've, I should have done before but in the form here you can say apply add a form label right so add a form label number one question see that one I just created is there now right so is the old question one but you can see right here number one question and then over here I'm going to say um, um I want to make this the best workshop ever for you right so let's put in here I will I might know some things but I want to be sure sure what I teach is what you want to know so in the form in exchange in exchange for your question I will give you a free ticket to the next workshop in the future in the future this workshop will be 197 or more <clears throat> uh then what let's just get rid of that just tell me tell me what your number one question is about finding leads in groups is and I'll send you your free ticket to buy in there we go so let's just say I say all that save your seat uh and then their name their email their number one question and then I just say you know obviously about my host this would be me it's not uh so let's just go back in here I'm sure I have some images in there got a bunch of images let's go to the end it's an old image <laughs> let's go back I know I have it somewhere I wonder if yeah there's no way to search that's the thing with uh, the images in here I have to go back and find my profile picture which will not be in these old images this is like a thousand images on here right in the past I used to do a lot of these pictures all the time there it is no that's not it that's my old profile picture let's go find my new one did you see if you see it pass by let me know Anyways, I'm joking because obviously you're not this is a recorded so <laughs> but it's coming it's coming I'm almost there probably should, could have went the other way but oh my 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 profile picture has got to be coming up
I could probably use some of the one of these other ones right I don't know why all these other profile pictures are there all the time it's got to be here soon there it is there it is right here all right I guess it, I guess it's not uh filtered but this is me Jean Serge Daniel and then it's going to be active group users leader. that's it right okay so now I want to take these ones out uh how do I do this delete delete can I select this whole thing there we go like that whoa I didn't want to do that uh oh control z doesn't work oh no <laughs> uh is there not an undo here hmm undo right here undo there we go okay so how can I get rid of this one I just want to get rid of this one these are the columns three two one I know there's stuff I'm still learning with Aweber but this is the form obviously you can probably get rid of this let's just delete that no can I do how can I do that delete this there we go which is you know fine it's powered by Aweber I don't need to put that there I guess I can just delete this let's just do that I know these are forms these are tables so these are this image delete the image no delete the image I only have one I mean this is a, a word work about your host right and then I could probably put some text in here you know in these things but I want to get rid of this can I not this is the whole thing here delete this text ah delete this text okay but the thing is that now I still have these left these lab left um this is a row I can add but I want to remove delete column there you go aha delete this column too okay so now I could add some text here to say you know John Serge's blah 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 whatever right okay so now I have my form I'm just going to save and exit and now I have my form and it's a landing page it's an ask campaign it's got a kind of a little preview thing I can publish it now I now before you can use it you got to publish it right so I can click on publish right here <coughs> and you know unless somebody knows the URL it's they're not going to be able to use it so I'm just going to copy this and I'm actually going to open in oh I guess I can't okay done I could share it to Twitter and link Facebook you know clicking those buttons but in my case I'm just going to go here I'm going to say open link in incognito window and there you go so now this is my form that I just created right of course there should be text here but this is my form that I created a mass campaign for it's very simple but let's use it let's put my name here so test test tester tester bar Let's call this Bob and then my number one question is what is the answer right I'm just going to put uh, that there so you can kind of see so this I'm basically filling this up I'm putting that in here and oh, actually before I do that I want to show you the next the other thing you need is your list has to have well it doesn't have to I suppose but it would be really better if you replied to the person that entered that information so you let them know that you got it right so that happens under automation under list automation under campaign sorry and this is where I already had a campaign set up I created a welcome campaign but the way it works is you can just say create a campaign you choose I usually always do a blank but you can always choose some of these different ones I click on select here I'm going to say welcome test I'll just get rid of this anyways create and then on subscribe which means that when somebody subscribes to your list which would happen when they fill this in right uh you want to do something with them right you want to send them a message so you click on send message move it here or you could double click it then you create a message and you have to actually create the message 
so that they get it well I mean not so they get it but you have to you have to put something in the message right so let's just wait for it to load up here and then we say thanks your here's your here's your free ticket right so thanks for and then over here I'm going to say something like thanks for answering 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 your answering um uh, our question for thanks for thanks for for your question and then you say you sent you you asked us and then over here you can say you can use a personalization right so over here personalization your snippets um subscriber info should be in here number one question right here oh whoops sorry it goes in here it goes here you asked us this if you have any other questions then feel free to reply with this email as well more, the more questions the better workshop will be right and then we can say uh you can register for the workshop here yes please do not share this link it's only for those for those who share this link or email or email it's only for those who answer the question answered who gave us a question e e s however feel free to share the uh the opt-in page the opt-in page that right so I can put the link to the opt-in page here right which is over here this link here right actually you can't see it this link here yeah there we go I'm going to put it right here and then I'm going to put that here and make it a link right there we go and then uh, they're going to have their question right here I'm going to make this bold let's make it a heading three you asked us this right thanks for your question your free ticket is included below all right so you can register for the workshop here so now I'm going to have you know link to workshop here right so that obviously that's not it's not done yet I got to go you know set up a zoom or set up whatever a webinar whatever process you want to use to have that as a workshop right and so obviously this will be a link here instead right so I'm just going to save that for now just so that you can see and actually I want to use that email instead of the other one so I'm actually going to say save this this will be my ticket and I'm actually going to say I'm actually going to delete this one stop this campaign and I'm going to make this one active so welcome test two and well the old welcome right so the old one I had one subscriber that it's a test that I had done over here there's none right all right so now we have the campaign set up so that when somebody actually enters their name and email in the form they get added to the list and they receive this this email here from this list right so I'm going to do it right now I'm going to show you doing that right now so if I click on this sign up now oh by the way obviously these links that are down here you probably want to you want to fix them because right now they don't go anywhere they just go to Facebook or Twitter or instantly right they don't go to my personal account so if you want them to you can but uh one of the things that's important to realize is that no matter how much 
how how you're doing things the the least things they can click on the better right so if you don't you probably don't even want that there but you might want to have a privacy statement or things like that especially if you want to do ads to this or so just click on L you know what we forgot and this should be get my free ticket I go back to my forms and in pages let's go fix that we want that to be um you know as clear to them as possible right save your seat actually instead of uh, let's see we could actually move this if we want right we can move this up here to there number one question your name and then what is what is your question uh let's see I could say what is what is your question right and then and then instead of sign up here we're going to say get free ticket now right like that something like that save <clears throat> all right so now if I just reload this page um oh I think I might have to publish it do I right unpublished changes I have to publish the changes there we go and then I reload this there we go what's your what's your what is your question number one question and then we say uh well let's do this again my num my question is this well let's just say what is a hot lead there you go my name is Bob test and then it's going to be Bob test at Bob one at my domain okay so now when I click this right the first first thing it does is it says thanks you're subscribed obviously I can change that too but if I go back to my to my um subscribers here I go back to my da -da -da, subscribers now you're going to see we have this new subscriber Bob one at fxos subscribed we click on this and I can actually see their answer here right and their question I should say and if I go to my inbox this right here from this Bob Dester see how Bob Dester got added then I also have this the email of this always goes to me because it's my test emails but this is what I have oh I guess I forgot the the I got an exclamation mark in here but you can see this is the email that goes to Bob it's, hi Bob thanks for your question your free ticket is included below you asked us what is a hot lead and then if you have any other questions if you free reply so the email that we just put together has been received and everything is a hunky dory and working great and now we've got this tester that's got this list so now if I export the CSV here and let's do go into downloads I'm gonna just look at that what that looks like let's actually go into here so let's just go into my downloads uh, and let's just 65 okay so now if I look at this now of course I could open that up inside of uh, excel or something but just so you see right here I have this name this name uh, is Bob there oh there's Bob there's the Bob right over here so we have the number one question is here so you can actually use tools and you can extract it all like this and then you can put together a list of all the top questions and you know there's ways to do this like for example I could do a, a 60 what is it 65 65 and this is you know programming whatever don't worry about this necessarily for yourself but just so you understand what's possible right obviously well actually you know what let's not let's not do that because that's that's over kill for anybody who's using uh you know tools but well actually I will do it um, oh 
いなのがちゃんと分かってる It's pretty crazy, all this stuff. There it is. Where is it? Which one is it? Seven, eight, nine. This is just getting the list. Number one question is okay, so this is one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's twenty. Number twenty will have the answers. So, number one question: What's the hot lead? So, obviously, um, if you're using a CSV tool, like you know, I can go in here. I can just open this up, and it'll open up Excel. Or I, in my case, I use Open Office and I just uh, load it up and then it gives me the list and you can use excel the same way as this basically what I do is I can just say let's just say I have their name I don't need necessarily need a date let's say I go in here I go hide all this right and then I just uh, hide all this too and then there we go so now I have my questions and I can sort them and I can just get them out of here right so that's that's kind of how you would get that data out and just look at it right um, not sure about how to do it with click funnels there's a way in here too to do an export and all that stuff but um, that's kind of how you do it with Aweber all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time...